some of them just went down because uh, the network went down. I don't know. I don't know what happened, uh, but the network is very, very down. The network is very, very down. So down that I don't know even. Yeah, thank you very much for connecting back. Thank you very much for connecting back. The network cut it. I don't know what happened. He started uh, reconnecting or reconnecting, but it can't reconnect again. We have missed a lot of calls here. We have missed a lot of calls. We have missed a lot of calls. Yeah. We have missed a lot of them. Yeah, and uh, thank you for uh, for reconnecting us back, please. Thank you for reconnecting back. Thank you for that. And the number to call remains was two three four nine zero two six nine three zero nine six two. I repeat again, plus two three four nine zero two six nine three zero nine six two. Have a color here on WhatsApp. Color on WhatsApp, can you hear me? The color on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Can you hear, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Good morning from here, my dear brother. Oh, good morning. Uh, thank you, uh, Mas Godwill. Uh, I'm the average all over the world. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Chibuza. And I'm reaching you from the capital city of Mozambique. I come to you this morning as a one of I to be I come to you this morning just like your brother. I come to you this morning, everything within his power to liberate the people of Biafra. I come to you this morning as a dear friend, and I have a message for you all, those of you who are listening. Those who will listen after the program, I want to let you know something, that the hour has come, the battle line has drawn, and I must let you know that you will not allow our enemy to beat us at that time. We have to knock them off, we have to show them that we are united. And like they said, that united we stand, and divided will always fall. I want to tell you this morning that you will not allow yourself to be a political prostitute. Someone like Ifan Yoba, my own dear senior brother, who moves from one party to another. I come to you this morning to let you know that you will not allow yourself to be like a root me Amrichi. Those who don't know their roots, those who don't know who they are, those who their history have been misplaced. I come to you this morning to let you know that you and I must liberate our dear sovereign nation. I come to you this morning to allow you to know the truth so that the truth will set you free. And the truth is, there will not be any election in Anambra State. I am not trying to entice you with my speech. I am not trying to convince you for you to believe in things I say. But I am here to tell you the truth the whole throat, nothing but the throat. Anambra State, for many years now, we have been voting. During the time of Padino Ju, you are there. During the time of Ndige, you are there. 
During the time of Okwadi Kofi Boku, you are there. During the time of Etiaba of Newe, you are there. And all these people we sent to go and represent us, they failed us repeatedly. So now we are calling them back so that they will give us the account of the things, the market, the business we set up for them because that's the right thing to do. If you are serving someone and the person open a branch for you, after some years, some months, you have to come back and give the account of things that is going on on that very shop. But, but on our own, the people that we sent, we put on that very branch we opened, none of them have given us account. They had the capital, they had the gain. So this time around, we collectively have decided to shut that shop down by boycotting the election in a number of states. I want you to understand that you must let your people to know that we are not going to vote. Voting for these people means voting vampires. Inviting vampires that will kill you in your own house. Voting for these people means that you are telling them to continue to toy with the future of our dear unborn children. Voting for these people means you are in support of spearing of Anambra State people's blood on the street of Anambra State. Voting for these people means that to Anambra people. So I want to tell you, dear brothers and sisters, wherever you are, call your friend to call a friend, to call a brother and the brother we call a sister. Tell them that none of you will come out that day to vote. Because if you do, the book. survive in anything you do. If you vote that day, it means you are urinating on the grave of innocent fallen heroes, dear friend. If you come out to vote that day, it means that you support the threat of our dear ones killed by Nigerian government. So what you will do now after listening to my voice, all of you under the influence of my voice, all of you that will listen to my voice after this call, Call your family, tell them to not come out that very day, 18th November 2017. Tell them that they must not vote. No matter how these people try to convince you, you can see them on the street praying, but trying to do as if they love you, they don't. Somebody like Ifan Yoba was watching him some few minutes ago playing football on the street of Newe with some people, some foolish, idiotic human beings, some animals on the street playing football with him. These people are trying to deceive you. Ifan Yoba is a political prostitute. Do not mind him. He jump from one party to another. That will show you that these people don't care. And you can see what happened in Enugu State. Someone they denied the opportunity to rob money, and you see him crying. Why are you crying? Because your people said that you will not serve them if you don't have any intention. Do not come out to vote on Anambra State, and the Biafra will be given. This is all I have to say this morning. And God bless you all. Thank you very Thank much, you. Brother. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Well spoken, and we'll accept that. We'll accept that as our brother, one of us. We have a caller on the phone. Can you hear me? We missed a lot of calls. I will say welcome. Please, uh, uh, 
We will be closing this very program in a short distant time. Those that have missed that course, please don't be offended. And I wanted to make it clear to you, people adding me as a friend on the Facebook, please just click the follow and follow me. Don't add a game because we have over 1,000 of them to be accepted, but not yet. We have a caller on WhatsApp. The caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning from here, my dear brother from Canada. Good morning from here. Give us your name of where you are calling from, please. Yes, okay. Thank you very much, my dear brother. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. I live in Canada and I'm a hardcore there for me. I want to thank you for the effort you're making. It is not easy on behalf of their parents all over the world. We must continue the fight. Okay. Obviously, we have come to a point that is not, uh, it's like uh, we're disillusioned. But I want to encourage all their friends that we cannot give up. This is the only option we have to fight on. Okay? Yeah. Um, I know right now a lot of people are asking me what is happening. It seems as if nothing is happening. So please, let us be encouraged. No war can be fought without any losses. It took uh, North America and Europe some 60 million lives and four years to degrade uh, Adolf Hitler. It's not going to be easy for us. Sometimes we get setbacks, but we must continue the march until we get our freedom. A person like me, having, I'm in Canada now 40 years, why am I here? Because the Fulanese and the Hausas have seized our land, make it, make it impossible for us to come back. We have so many Biafrans in diaspora, all of us, all of us keep on dreaming of going back to our motherland. But obviously we cannot go because we, our land is under siege by these Fulanese. And some people like me and they want us to accept slavery for life. Uh, when I tell them we will never accept that, I will remind them that if uh, Wilson Churchill and uh, Eisenhower of the United States uh, would have considered the 60 million lives they lost in degrading Adolf Hitler, they would have given up. The same way we cannot give up, no matter how many people we lose. Yeah. We must get our freedom, whatever we have to do to get that. Now, I have been telling my uh, Google, sorry, we need to have an international conference of veterans and diaspora. I'm not sure how to get this organized. We need something. Those of us in Canada and U.S. can have a, a large international conference sometime next year so that we continue to show our presence. Over in our better land, those people obviously have continued to kill, so we cannot expect the people back home to do much. The task now is for us in diaspora. So uh, I will have some people, if, if you can contact me, let us see how we can put together our heads and have an international conference. It will be federal financing. Anyone who, people like myself, who are hardcore their funds, I will be prepared to try to transport myself to wherever it is. We are going to meet and consolidate plans. I know people are working on it, but it's not really very obvious to the people, to a lot of us, what is happening. Until we have this type of thing that will be popularly televised, a strong conference of their fans, the, the, the zoo will know that we are serious about this. Okay, my dear In the time for demonstration, yeah, we have been doing demonstration, yes. My dear brother, but uh, the demonstration uh, is uh, not uh, enough. Uh, yes, uh, go ahead. Hello. Uh, the national conference, uh, have you people put a date for that? Sorry? Uh, have you people put a date for the national conference? That's what I'm saying. This is my idea. I'm trying to get, I've been telling you that I'm trying to get connected with the leadership. I, I don't know how to get, I need to suggest this. That's the suggestion I'm making through this medium. Okay, okay. I tried to get with him before to suggest to him uh, but it's difficult to catch him. The only time he can call him is during his program, and my time on his own is, unless when I wake up too early in the morning, I'm not able to connect. Okay, okay. 
I'll, I'll... But if you have access to him, let us suggest that. Let's do something, you know, uh, and then let every every person uh, time. We must set a date, six months in advance, so that all the chapter leaders, all the coordinators will come in. I think the Europeans are doing that already. I've seen the, the YouTube where they meet in Spain and you have all the coordinators. Nothing is happening in North America. We have Mexico, Canada, and U.S., which holds the largest population of Biafrans. But nothing is happening. So you have, they have access to you. You can use this medium to, to really encourage it. I know you're focusing on the November 18th uh, election. I think that's already a done deal. We have, uh, from what happened at Enugu, it's obvious that we have won the battle. And I suspect that on that day, uh, nobody will come out to vote. But going forward from there, we must do something beyond okay. simply oh. demonstrating. Uh, uh, you mean, uh, are we, uh, you That's have, all I have you, to say. You have said it for a very long time that uh, North America, our people are populated there, but uh, they are not doing anything. I don't know. I will, I will see what I can do within my powers, please. That's what I can do. I will try to contact the leadership of IPOV. I will try my best to contact them because contacting is not, is not very easy at all. Well, I will do that, my dear. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we'll keep in touch and I'll get back to you. All right. I will get back to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah, that was a caller from uh, 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 Canada in the North, in North America, where our people reside very immensely. Very, very immensely, please. And we continue to propagate this very message. Uh, the reason why we are not really going back in this very propagation of no election is because of one thing. We don't want our enemies to overrun us at all. My dear brother, my sister, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, hello, MC Black. Yeah, good morning from here. Yeah, my name is Antipa Nimba. I'm calling from Maputo, Mozambique. Thank you very much, my dear. Go ahead and speak to us. Yes, uh, my only contribution is based on the, the election and the seat at home. So therefore.